Welcome back guys, in today's video I'll show you how you can remove viruses from your Roblox game. So, um, here is how you're going to do it. So I'm going to show you how to code an antivirus program on Roblox. So first we need a kind of vaccine, so let's try to create a folder first. And we're just going to rename this to vaccines. And we don't want this right now because um, it will just remove, but this is just a temporary folder. We're going to delete it after. So let's um, just search for some random virus or something like that. And you can see on here, uh, let's check this thing. So there we got a virus already. So let's um, take that and instead of the vaccines, we're just going to add a script here. We're just going to do local virus one is equal to bam. And just to add it into string for now. For now. So there we go. And this is a very, very famous virus on Roblox, I'm pretty sure. And yeah, so let's just remove that quick. So here we have one of these. And let's just save it there for now. We're just gonna. Alright. So what we're gonna do next is we're just gonna add another script into workspace. Alright, we're actually gonna put it inside a folder. So let's rename this one to game virus game infection manager the game infection manager we're going to add a script into that and here's where the scripting goes so let's just um copy this line over to the other script and put it um right here all right so i'm going to delete the vaccine script we're going to go back here so what we're going to do is we're going to do local descendants is equal to game dot workspace colon get descendants like that. Then we're going to do for index and comma descendant descendant in pairs in pairs descendants and then we're gonna have a do function so it just finds every single um kind of with this name in so you need kind of vaccine so every time you discover a new script you just want to add this so what we're gonna do is if descendant dot name name is equals to equal is equals equals to virus one then and then we can do descendant on destroy Let's see right there so there we go um this will delete anything with this right here so let's say we were to add actually um remove this um from game you do want to do game get descendants so you can also remove it from replicated storage all of basically everything so um let's add some uh, let's just add some some stuff here and we're gonna act like this is our virus and we're just gonna rename all of these we're just gonna create a bunch of, of these so you can see right here and we can just scatter these around everywhere I think and let's just put the viruses inside of the base plate we're gonna put it inside of the other ones just gonna put it everywhere basically not inside of players you can put it into started UI all that so here we go, you can see it right here now. So let's um uh, open the workspace, you can see everything is got oh it doesn't remove here from so um it doesn't remove from server storage and stuff like that apparently so however it does remove from all the other stuff so doesn't remove from these so if we want to run this thing it doesn't remove you can see I have this plug in here it also can't it doesn't recognize these so that makes this one actually kind of better than the other ones and it'll delete everything so <clears throat> you can actually just do game workspace game dot workspace let's just go back to game dot workspace because that didn't work I thought it would work but apparently not um so yeah I mean it's right there there's some you can do some pretty things 
Um, but yeah. So what if we want more viruses to be to fit? So we can do local virus two is equal to, and then we can just name this one whatever we want. Let's name it infected. And do local virus three is equal to infected with a capital. Local virus four is equal to virus. And local virus five is equal to virus. So what we can do here. And that is simple. So we can just keep doing this or was equal to that. Or was equal to that, 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 that. So, so we can just keep doing this. And that is basically how you make a antivirus script. So let's just create some fake viruses here. You can see right here this is the virus. Um it has the script, so let's just try to insert some viruses. You can see there's also a virus here probably. Okay, this one doesn't have virus viruses. So spread virus uh, and we can add one more here and we name this one to virus script or and we can see that there okay and just add one more like this and your goal is to pretty much add as many as possible because you can actually use tables for this that would be a lot easier but i'm just going to do this for now to make it simple um just leave a like or comment down below if you want a better one in the future um you can see right here we have a bunch of viruses here and um we can just Get, let's add this one instead. Copy. I right, can actually rename that Control C, and it will remove remove most of the viruses in the game. Most. Um. So there's still gonna be some. Apparently, um, it won't remove from this one. So yeah, that's that's pretty weird, um, but it should be able to do most of it. But as you can see right here, it didn't. So how can you do this? Um, let's just add it into a while to do loop and do like this. Copy and paste it inside, and blah blah. We can do like that. Run. And it just creates a bunch of viruses. Now, um, a way that you can also do this, but just make sure that you don't have rotates in your, you know, velocity things. You can actually just remove every single rotate. Piece. Um, so what you can do here, or descendant colon is a rotate p and then we can do copy that again and you can just check if it's a rotate v this because these are very commonly used for viruses now it's not going to be able to remove everything unless you add more stuff manually you can see right here this thing got most of it done all right so so there it actually cleared away most of the viruses i don't think there's any more left Oh, there's one virus left, but anyways, um, that is how that you can create and just make um how you can remove uh, most viruses from your game. Remember, you can choose this however you want yourself. But I'm gonna paste the script in the description for you to take. And yeah, anyways, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.